weird is that? I started fencing when I was 10 years old. Uh, my parents were pushing me to do sports. Uh, I did baseball, soccer, swimming, judo, taekwondo. I did a bunch of sports that I didn't really like. So then my parents proposed fencing and what 10 years old kid doesn't like to play with swords. So I uh, started at 10, then at 12, 13, I started tournaments, uh, regional tournaments, moved to provincial level, national level, and a couple of years uh, later at 16, 17, I started international tournaments to qualify for national team. And 18, 19 years uh, later, here I am. Um, the thing I love about fencing is that it doesn't matter if you're strong, fast, short, tall, smart, all the tools that you have as a person, you can use them at your advantage against basically anyone. So it's not only about speed or strength or tactic, it's about how you use the tools that you have against everyone. My hardest moment would be probably in right after my junior uh, years. So when I switch over like the 20, 21, 22 years old uh, category, uh, the first year seniors, um, I was at a point that I was not strong enough technical wise and I was not strong enough like fitness wise. So I was struggling with the, the job and the university and the training and the bad results I was having. Uh, then I had the chance to move to China to focus on the training in Van Gogh. Um, after four years of training, focusing on the training, I was coaching there also the, the classes, but the main focus was on the training. Uh, after those uh, three, four years, uh, my technical and fitness level improved a lot. Uh, that gave me the tools that I needed to have a chance against the best in the world. My advice for the younger athletes out there who are like committed into like a high level career in fencing would be to keep in mind the long term uh, objectives that they have, not always the short term in the next tournament and this year qualification, but see at the big picture, which is being a good person to be able to be a good fencer. So if you're complete as a person, if you're like happy in life, and if you have like all those things that make you a, a good person, you will eventually be a good fencer. So it's not only about the hours that you put in training, but how balanced your life is.